Hello everyone! We are international students at Centennial College and this is the group 10 regarding our poster presentation from Information System Business Management class. Our group is composed by Anita Fernandes, Angel Silveira, Clayton Bittencourt and Leandro Batista. Today we are going to talk about virtual reality. Can you imagine how powerful and useful is this technology? Our thesis is, will virtual reality allow us to explore places that exist only in our dreams? Our presentation will take no more than 15 minutes and we divided it in five parts. First, I will give you a brief introduction about our topic. Secondly, Clayton will discuss some types of virtual reality. Third, Angel will brief the history and how virtual reality has been developed. Fourth, Leandro will explain the applications of the virtual reality. Finally, I will give you our opinion on whether virtual reality will allow us to explore places that exist only in our dreams. Moving to the introduction, the development of the virtual reality was inspired by the sci-fi movies that introduced it in our lives that decided to be in touch, for example, with people that there are another part of the world. As predicted by the Star Trek series, nowadays it is possible to use some budgets, which at that time was almost a crazy dream. In almost every episode, Dr. Spock was using a communicator badge, and nowadays we can see people talking by themselves using small devices in their ears and talking through a mobile network. Turning to the second part, Clayton will discuss some types of virtual reality. Hi everyone! Now, we will see different types of virtual reality. There are different types and technology of virtual reality. Different ways for creating an environment where people feel present, immersed to tell it. In our poster, we chose the Brill classification, which identifies seven types of virtual reality. Immersive first person, augmented reality, through the window, mirror world, walled world, chamber world, cab simulator, cyberspace, and telepresence or teleoperation. In immersive first person, the user is placed inside the image. The generated image is signed properties which make it look and act real in terms of visual perception. The system involves computer interface device such as a head mountain display, fiber optic wired globes, position tracking device and audio systems providing 3D binaural sound. The augmented reality is a variation of immersive first person, mixing virtual and real world. Even though its common application is in aviation, where certain controls can be highlighted. Recently, the system has been used in surgeries. Through the window system, also known as desktop virtual reality, provides a 3D world through the window of the computer screen and navigates through the space with a control device, such as a mouse. The system can create human motion animations and these dynamic visualizations are also used in crime investigations and as evidence in trials. Mirror World is a projection of reality. It provides a second person experience in which the viewer stands outside the imaginary world but communicates with characters or objects inside it. Users are reproduced by using headgear, wired gloves or other interface. They step into an actual set of the transporter room in the real world and view themselves in virtual world on a large screen in front of them, for example. Another application is in teleconferencing. The world world is a form of digital puppetry involving real-time computer animation. The name world is drawn from a science fiction history. Wearing an electronic mask or body armor equipped with sensors that detect motion, 
a puppeteer controls in real time a computer animation figure on a screen or a robot. Today this technology is used in many movies in which actors become different puppets on the screen, such as Lord of the Rings and Avatar. Chamber World is a small virtual reality projection theater controlled by several computers that gives users the sense of free movement within a virtual world than the immersive systems, providing first-person experience. Lots of max motion theaters have used this system, but the first one was the Cave, a 3D real projection theater made up of three halls and a floor projected in stereo and filled with stereo glasses developed at the Electronic Visualization Laboratory at the University of Illinois. The cab simulator environment is another type of first-person virtual reality technology, an entertainment of experience simulation form of virtual reality, which can be used by a small group or by a single individual. The more common and developed uh, technology today are cyberspace and telepresence or teleoperation. Cyberspace is a global artificial reality that can be visited simultaneously by many people via networked computers. Is where you are when you are hooked up to a computer network or electronic database or talking on the telephone. Telepresence or teleoperation is linked to the concept of cyberspace, the feeling of being in a location other than where you actually are. Related to this, teleoperation means that you can control a robot or another device at a distance. Is this system which allows NASA to control the rover mission in Mars today? Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Silveira and I'm talking about virtual reality, its history and its developed through this time. We cannot talk about a virtual reality and say that doesn't have any relation with dreams. We know that every great idea comes from simple inspiration, but we have to understand the importance that technology has to develop all these dreams or ideas. In 1838, the stereoscopic photo reviewer by uh, created by Charles Weatherstone, he demonstrated that the brain processed the two different dimensional imagine from each aid into a single object of three dimensions. Viewing two side by side the stereoscopic images or photos through the stereoscope gave the, to the user a sense of deep and immersion. We can see in this image how looks the stereoscopic photo. Imagine one. In 1929, Link Trainer was uh, invited by Edward Link that he created a Link Trainer, probably the first example of commercial fly simulator with was sterling electromechanical. It was controlled by motors that like to render, redunder and strain column to modify the pitch of roll. In 1950, the cinematographer Morton Healing developed the sonor sensorama, which was an archive style theater cabinet that would simulate the sense but not just seeing a sound. They have stereo speakers 
on your stereoscopic 3D display, fan and smell generator and vibrating chair. This stuff gives to, to, to the user a sensation that was into the movie. Uh, the sensorama was in intent to fully immersion the individual in the film. He also created six short films for his invention. Um, and was produced and edited by, by himself. In 1965, the ultimate display by Ivan Sutherland described the concept that could simulate reality to a point where one could not tell the difference from actual reality. His concept included a virtual world viewed through a HMD and a pure realistic through augmented 3D sound and tactile feedback. Computer hardware to create the virtual world and maintain in a real in time. The ability of users to interact with objects in the virtual world in a realistic way. In 21 centuries, has seen major rapid advance in the development of virtual reality. Computer technology, especially small and powerful mobile technologies, have scrolled while price are constantly driving now down. The rise of a smartphone with high density display a 3D graphics compati compatible has enabled a generate a lightweight and pra practical virtual reality device. At this time, we can see everywhere the interaction with virtual reality. We can see on consoles, uh, video games. We can see on um, uh, shows that are in Universal Studio, in uh, Disney, and they are using this virtual reality to generate some profit for these companies. Now Leandro is going to explain what are the applications of virtual reality. Virtual reality is already a useful tool in many fields. One example of application using 3D moves combined with movements in a roller coaster is the Harry Potter attraction at the Universal Studios Amusement Park in Orlando, Florida. Today, the virtual reality is also used for training in the airspace area. U-Fly Simulator, situated in Mississauga City, is a company specialized in this business. For example, you can drive a 777 Boeing for less than an, ex an expensive meal. If you wish, you can get more details on www.uflysimulator.ca Virtual reality have been used for engineering and construction projects, arm and defense, medical analysis, explorer outer space, and so on. The Microsoft company developed a new technology called Whole Lens, and it is already integrated with the new Windows 10. See, see here a short video and let your imagination go.
technology is all around us. We use it in every aspect of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things. But what if we could go further? What if we could go beyond the screen? Where your digital world is blended with your real world. Now we can. This is the world with holograms. What will they enable us to do? New ways to visualize our work. I have an idea for the fuel tank. New ways to share ideas with each other. How are things going your end? I just put the images in one drive. Perfect. More immersive ways to play. New ways to teach and learn. So put the new trap in the place of the old one. Now what? And tighten here and here. New ways to collaborate and explore the places we've never been. Look at this formation. Let's take a closer look. And new ways to create the things we imagine. Because when you change the way you see the world, you can change the world you see. This is Microsoft HoloLens. We have talked about the motivation of virtual reality, types of virtual reality, its history and development, and its applications. Thus, we can conclude that virtual reality technology has an important role in the human development. Applied as tools, it's possible to train, teach, and even experience in different environments and conditions. It enables us to use the power of these technologies in our favor, helping ourselves through the virtual reality experience new situations, as well as inserting us in an imaginary environment as we talked about the usage of virtual reality in the entertainment industry. There are a vast number of opportunities to research and improve this technology, as also many ways to apply and use this technology and go beyond our dreams. Now, we hope that you have a better understanding how virtual reality allows us to explore places that only exist in our dreams. Thank you so much for your time and consideration.